Lecture 5-3, Mining and Uses of Minerals. There are certain types of minerals that are very useful. One type is a gemstone. A gemstone is a hard, colorful mineral that has a brilliant or glassy luster. The hardness has to be high. Think of a diamond. It has a hardness of 10. That is a very useful mineral in the sense that we can use diamonds to cut other things. Diamond tip saw blades are some of the most <clears throat> powerful saw blades we have. Once a gemstone is cut and polished, it is called a gem. Gems are usually used mainly for jewelry, decoration, mechanical parts, and for grinding and polishing metals. So the grinding part, that's where we would use diamond tipped. Uh, even corundum, which has a hardness of 9, could be used for this. But corundum, the least samples that we have, would not be considered a gemstone because it is not colorful. And it does not have a glassy or, remember the other word for glassy is vitreous, luster. So it has to have hardness, high hardness, we're talking 9, 10. It has to be colorful and glassy. Now some minerals are the sources of metals such as aluminum, iron, copper, silver, metal tools and machinery, the metal film and light bulb, even the steel bars used to frame office buildings, all began as minerals inside Earth's crust. So these uh, minerals contain aluminum, iron, copper, silver. Like iron is contained in a lot of minerals and makes up a lot of the Earth. And so what we need to do is we need to remove that from what else it's combined with. Uh, we also use minerals for food, medicine, fertilizers, building materials. With fertilizer, uh, you're talking about sodium, potassium, uh, and nitrogen. Uh, clear crystals of calcite are used in optical instruments such as microscopes. Quartz is used in making glass as well as electronic equipment and watches. And gypsum, which is actually a big one in Iowa, is used in making wallboard, cement, and stucco. So we gypsum wallboard or dry board. Uh, are made from a mineral. Ores. Ores is a rock that contains a metal or economically useful mineral. Um, remember, minerals form inside of rocks. When we're talking about veins, you know, uh, like gold veins or something, it's because we have this rock which is already there, and then it formed kind of in a crack on that rock. So ore is a rock that contains a metal or economically useful mineral. Most metals do not occur in a pure form. The metal usually occurs as a mineral that is a combination of that metal and other elements. Iron is hardly ever found in nature as just iron. Uh, it's found combined with other stuff. Now first we have to find the minerals or prospect them. So prospectors, anyone searches for an ore deposit, geologists prospect for ores by looking for certain rocks on Earth's surface. So if I find these rocks, I know what how they form. I can find other rocks that will contain the useful stuff. Now mining, that's when we remove the material from the earth, and there are three main types. A strip mine is where you scrap the earth's surface and you just remove it. So think about like a hill or something, and you just remove layer by layer by layer of that hillside to get to the mineral. Open pit mines, you dig a large hole in the earth's surface, and so this is where all of a sudden we dig a giant hole, and that's where our mineral was found at the bottom. Later on, we have to refill that to make it usable again. And shaft mining or deep underground tunnel mining um, is when we just, the minerals found deep underground, we have to dig a hole to get to it. Now, that's one of the most dangerous and most expensive. The open pit and strip mining are cheaper because they're easier to do. Mining for minerals and other minerals can damage the environment. Land reclamation. After the project is done, the land is reclaimed for another purpose made into parks or other usable areas in Rockford, Iowa we have one area that was reclaimed as a state park because of all the fossils we found in there. Now smelting contains the word melting so you know it's going to cause them to be very very hot. Ores must be processed before the metals they contain can be used. After miners remove ore from a mine smelting is necessary to remove the metal from the ore. The process of smelting ore is melted, there's our melting, to separate the useful metal from other elements the ore contains. So we have this sample initially, which contains our useful stuff and our other stuff. And by melting it, we now can separate them. But it's not that simple. And oftentimes the other stuff has to be combined with something else to remove it. 
So how does smelting separate metals from other substances? In general, smelting involves mixing ore with crushed limestone and coke, not the pop, different material, and then heating the mixture to a very high temperature. The heat melts the iron in the ore. Heat also causes the metal to separate from its components, and then we can pour out the molten, uh, the molten metal. So pretty much if I have this big container of molten material, the higher density stuff will sink to the bottom, the lower density stuff will be on top, so we combine the unuseful stuff with the limestone or the coke and make sure that's a higher density so that that sinks to the bottom or so that the iron is now found at the top and we just pour it out. After smelting, additional processes need to remove impurities from the iron. The result is steel, which is harder and stronger than iron. We had to combine something with it to form it. Steel is an alloy, which is a solid mixture of two or more metals. So alloys, alloys are two or more metals.